the West Coast is bursting with places to get good food quickly to make the rest of America jealous. There are plenty of fast food chains to satisfy any palate. So let's follow the sunset and check out these 10 fast food chains only on the West Coast. Try Fat Burger from now on. You can get yourself a double cheese with fries for $2.95. Homegrown local favorite. The brothers make me cook, stew and stuff all day, but they don't give me money for fresh ingredients. Homegrown is a Washington State and San Francisco area restaurant chain that combines what is essentially a fast food menu of sandwiches, soups, and salads with a commitment to a more sustainable farm-to-table operation. Small, local producers provide most of the fresh ingredients that go into favorites like the grass-fed steak and blue cheese sandwich and their famous smashed chickpea sandwich. Anybody interested? Besides sandwiches, Homegrown offers a number of clean salads and bowls to satisfy hearty appetite and vegans alike. This place also offers a handful of breakfast items for early birds, such as the Sunrise Bowl, a robust meal that includes two pasture-raised fried eggs, avocado, fried tomatoes, ancient grains, and farm greens. Cheat day? Cheat day, yeah. A restaurant that pushes sustainability appeals to many people in the millennial generation, especially in Washington and the Bay Area. Homegrown proudly provides a list of its local produce suppliers, which includes a number of small farms, bakeries, and beverage companies. The attention on local producers will be more important to some customers than others, but all will appreciate good food. Viva El Taco Tote. Taco dial. Supreme. El Taco Tote has locations in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, as well as four locations in Mexico. A woman named Dora instilled in her seven children a love of family and good food. Her children were inspired to start their own business back in the 1960s, and they tried to create a restaurant using what their mother had taught them. Their fast food chain has become well known for its made fresh daily guacamole and salsas. The spiciest salsa, Salsa Roja, is a favorite with customers and is spread liberally over chips and tacos alike. Of course, El Taco Tote is known for its tacos, and you can choose from a number of meats, including beef fajita, chicken, pork, shrimp, and bistec. Once you've chosen the meat, you have a range of vegetables to choose from, such as lettuce, radishes, pickled onions, and limes. Some people just want the tacos. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. That's Illuminati. That's what I'm saying. But for those who want a little something to go with them, El Taco Tote offers fresh made sides that go perfect with any of these tacos. These sides include jarro beans, classic refried beans. If these sides are too basic, you can also try the papa asada, a baked potato with sweet beef topped with leek custard. You can always get a classic quesadilla. I ain't seen anything. So eat my quesadilla. Or something like nachos called parchos. El Taco Tote is Mexican fast food, but feels more like a homemade meal than what you'll get at Taco Bell. Salt and straw is curiously delicious. It's the best ice cream. I wouldn't order any of it. This West Coast chain may not be magically delicious, but the folks at Salt and Straw insist that their ice cream is curiously delicious, and we'll take that. This is so good. Salt and Straw is the brainchild of Kim Malik an ice cream lover who wanted to create a friendly place for people to go and enjoy their favorite treats. With the help of a cousin, they grew the business until they had stores called Scoop Shops from Seattle to San Diego. Individual shops feature unique ice cream flavors that reflect the regional tastes and traditions of those particular locations. For example, the Los Angeles Scoop Shop offers monthly flavors like an 85% Peruvian chocolate sorbet and classic flavors like almond brittle with salted ganache and a honey lavender flavor that is actually deep lavender in color and made with local honey. A lot of people like chocolate ice cream, but if you really like chocolate ice cream, Salt and Straw offers its Chocolatier series that includes flavors like Dick Taylor's Fig and Madagascar Chocolate, Neo Coco's Black Sesame Brittle and Brown Sugar, and Dandelion Chocolate's Salted Honey Almond. You can pre-order batches of ice cream from the Chocolatier series and they'll ship them to you. If you love ice cream, you'll probably want to try Salt and Straw the next time you're on the West Coast. The spotlight is on Blue Star Donuts. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to exit the donut. 
Donuts are traditionally thought of as a cheap, tasty breakfast food that you can eat on the go. No muss, no fuss. Times change, and back in 2012, Blue Star Donuts became one of the reasons. This West Coast fast food chain offers a foodie's take on these deep-fried pastries. The words gourmet and donut aren't usually used together, but Blue Star isn't your average donut shop. As the good people at Blue Star ask, does your average donut shop use brioche, the buttery queen of breads, as their raised yeast base? This chain also likes to use a wide range of ingredients, such as fresh fruit, herbs, spices, and liqueurs. Donut lovers are familiar with flavors like glazed chocolate, jelly-filled, and powdered sugar. But Blue Star bakers have decided to take things to the next level, with unique flavors like passion fruit cocoa nib, blueberry basil cake, and a hard apple cider fritter that looks scrumptious. Is that the last donut with red, white, and blue sprinkles? Most of this chain's stores are in the Portland area, but there are several locations in California, including one in the Venice neighborhood of Los Angeles. The only downside is price. You're probably used to spending quite a bit less than $3.75 and up for a single donut. However, this is how much they cost at Blue Star Donuts. This chain consistently gets very good reviews on social media, so you'll have to decide if Blue Star Donuts are worth the price. So here you go, 12, 10, 8 donuts. Roscoe's has the sweet and the salty. Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles is a soul food fast food chain. It was founded by Herb Hudson, who was born in Harlem. He brought his vision to California and opened the first location in Hollywood in 1975. Roscoe's now has a total of seven locations spread around Southern California. The Hollywood restaurant quickly became popular with celebrities including Natalie Cole and Red Fox. As its notoriety increased, the restaurant was featured in several Hollywood movies, including mentions in Jackie Brown, Me and you go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles on me and swingers. As the name suggests, this fast food chain has built its reputation on its now famous chicken and waffles. Before that, you can only get chicken or waffles, but they were the first to put them together. This sweet and salty combination might seem odd to some people, but most people in Southern California take this tasty combination for granted. Giant fluffy waffles and succulent fried chicken are served fresh with plenty of butter and maple syrup that will satisfy even the biggest appetites. But if you don't like chicken and waffles, there are plenty of other items on the menu you can try, such as omelets and biscuits for breakfast. But if you're in the mood for lunch, Roscoe's offers a choice of salads, sandwiches, and a chicken burger. Some of the Side dishes are very popular with customers, such as the mac and cheese and cornbread. For many in Los Angeles, Roscoe's is a delicious institution. And for tourists who love breakfast, the Hollywood location is a must stop. El Pollo Loco, the crazy chicken. You've got to get out of here. El Pollo Loco is a West Coast fast food chain that specializes in Mexican themed chicken meals. In 1975, Juan Francisco Ochoa, nicknamed Pancho, opened a restaurant in Sinaloa, Mexico to sell his lime-marinated, fire-grilled chicken. The first Los Angeles store was opened in 1980 on Alvarado Street. The chain is proud of its commitment to fire-grill its chickens instead of relying on more convenient cooking methods. Some of the most popular menu items at El Pollo Loco are meals that include whole-cut wings and multiple-piece chicken meals that feature a combination of breasts, wings, legs, and thighs. <laughs> the chicken gets high marks from customers for both its freshness and flavor, but the sides are also more than you might expect from a fast food chain. You can choose from a pretty wide assortment of sides such as their new tapatio fries, rice, pinto beans, corn, mac and cheese, and the loco side salad. Like any good Mexican restaurant, this chain offers a variety of salsas, including a tasty avocado salsa. El Pollo Loco offers the usual soft drinks found at fast food chains, but you can also find some traditional Mexican drinks, like Mexican hot chocolate and horchata, a plant-based milk drink sometimes made with almonds. If you're not particularly hungry, you can always try a bowl of their fresh-made tortilla soup. Laughing Planet is no laughing matter. Laughing Planet is an Oregon-based food chain that specializes in basic fare like burritos, bowls, and salads. This chain takes its food sourcing practices seriously. As they describe in the mission statement, we take more care in sourcing our food from local farmers, ranchers, and purveyors than most high-end restaurants and grocery stores. This is serious business! 
The comfort bowl is representative of the Laughing Planet's menu and includes brown rice, smart black beans, sliced avocado, organic sour cream, and black olives with nutritional yeast sauce served on the side. Nutritional yeast is a deactivated yeast sold as a food product. They also offer a tasty looking barbecue chicken quesadilla with chipotle barbecue sauce. There are several varieties of burrito, including one made with tempeh, an Indonesian style soy that's fermented in a particular way and then fried to make a firm cake-like product. Soy isn't for everyone, but this burrito sounds like a viable choice for vegans. In the natural fiber clothing, I assume means some kind of vegetarian denomination. We're vegans. The sumac salad sounds interesting with its kale, curry roasted chickpeas, spinach, quinoa, apples, and roasted cauliflower. Laughing Planet seems to have succeeded at creating a fast food chain that offers relatively healthy fare to customers who want their food sourced from local producers. Next stop, Burgerville. I don't know what's in there. I don't want you to get hurt, so step back. The West Coast hamburger chain known as Burgerville has locations spread across Oregon and Washington. A lot of restaurants in the Pacific Northwest are big into sustainable agriculture and farm-to-table processes. The folks at Burgerville have taken these concepts to the next level with a commitment to what they call regeneration through people, place, and product. So they want to save the planet. This much is clear. There was no other way. But how do the burgers taste? Fortunately, Burgerville cares about this too, because the burgers look absolutely delicious. Ladies first, move! For example, one of their new burgers is called the number six. This burger features grass-fed beef from Carmen Ranch and two-year-age cheddar cheese from Face Rock Creamery. The original burger features a small patty, Burgerville spread, and ketchup. There is also a spicy Anasazi bean burger, perfect for vegetarians. Other menu items include a turkey club and chicken tenders. Burgerville offers the standard milkshake flavors of chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, but you can also get a Northwest cherry chocolate shake that sounds really good. An original burger and a cherry chocolate shake sounds like a pretty good meal next time you're in the Pacific Northwest. Surf and Tacos at Wahoo's Wahoo's Fish Tacos was started by three brothers in Costa Mesa, California. They loved surfing and food, and they wanted to start a place that reflected these passions. All I need are some tasty waves, cool buzz, and I'm fine. Most of this chain's locations are found in Southern and Northern California, but they've spread to Nevada, Colorado, Hawaii, New Jersey, and even Japan. This West Coast food chain is a blend of Brazilian, Asian, and Mexican food. The result is a light, tasty, and fresh menu that's flavorful and relatively healthy without making a fuss about it. Wahoo's offers a menu that includes standards like tacos, burritos, sandwiches, and salads, but with a slightly exotic twist. For example, Wahoo's has a Hawaiian burrito that features teriyaki steak, Maui onion rings, rice, cheese, and Maria's green sauce. The signature items are still the fish tacos prepared either grilled or Cajun, but they also offer chicken, braised pork, shrimp, tofu, and grilled steak. The entrees come with your choice of white or brown rice and black or Cajun white beans. The citrus slaw is also a popular side if you're not into rice and beans. After you've had a bite to eat, you can peruse the collection of merchandise that includes hats, t-shirts, and hoodies. All right, what do you want? The brothers seem to have succeeded in their ambition to create a welcoming place to get good food you can feel good about. California eating at In-N-Out. Double meats, extra spread, pickled chopped chilies only. If you've spent any time in California or the West Coast in general, you've probably been asked if you've been to an In-N-Out burger. Californians can be a little sensitive about this fast food chain, so if you don't like it, you might want to keep it to yourself. There's not much not to like, however, if you like fresh cooked burgers and fries. Unlike many fast food chains that have overloaded their menus with too many items, In-N-Out has stayed true to its classic menu of hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fries, soft drinks, and creamy milkshakes made with real ice cream. Even though this West Coast fast food chain keeps the menu simple, it still allows for plenty of variation with its not-so-secret menu. This fan favorite is a list of items customers can order even though they aren't officially part of the menu, but they really are. You cannot joke about that. This quote-unquote secret menu includes items like grilled cheese, the 4x4, which has four beef patties and four slices of cheese, and animal style, which is just the addition of grilled onions. Here's another secret. Even though it's not listed on the not-so-secret menu, you can order a Neapolitan 
Neapolitan milkshake instead of just the standard flavors. This tasty treat is made up of the three standard flavors, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, blended together into one frothy mix. In-N-Out Burger is a quality fast food chain worth going out of your way for whenever you need a burger and fries fix. We've got a lot more on our menu, just tap on one of our other great videos. First time here? Then click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.